Hey there, Mission Control. Well, I need to plug in, I need to have R2-D2 here plug into the hyperdrive and see if I can't figure out what's wrong. My uh, automation system here has some form of a bug in it, but it's only on this lane, so there might be a mechanical problem. So what we're going to do, we're going to attach the old computer here to it and run the script. We're going to check in to the serial port and see, uh, basically we're going to talk to it, just like I just said, kind of jokingly, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk to it, we're going to see what this bad boy's saying, and see if we can't figure out what's wrong. And uh, what the problem is, is that some of these valves, they're not activated. Now, I don't think it's designed because lane one is set up the exact same way and is working correctly. So something's going on over here, and I can't quite figure it out. So we're going to troubleshoot it today to see if we can't check it down. I just went through and I put the uh, voltmeter on each one of the valves. Uh, according to the computer here, uh, everything is working correctly as far as software and electronics go. Uh, so then I moved on to the pump and it looks like we might actually have a plugged line. So I'm going to go get the air compressor and we're actually going to blow this line out and uh, see if that can't help with it some. It looks like up front here we're getting plenty of flow, but as we move down further down the line there, we're losing flow rate, and that's causing our problem. I'm here at lane two, bed four, and it's getting ready to come on, and if my uh, idea was right, then we should get some pretty good flow here, momentarily. There we go. So the problem wasn't the electronics after all. The problem was that when I put all these valves back in, some of the line had gunk in it, and that gunk got stuck up in this valve here. So I connected the air compressor, which sadly is still running behind me, and uh, blew these out. And sure enough, that was the problem. So it took me a long time to troubleshoot this, all because of a little gunk in a valve. Now we're going to move on to lane 3 and lane 4. Hopefully their situation is similar. And uh, then the automation should be troubleshooting. There we go. That one worked. I just got done checking out lane 3 and it needed to be blown out. That was pretty much it on that one. Uh, but here on lane 4 we actually do have a wiring problem. First is these two particular DC plugs. I miswired the positive lead to the wrong spot. That was causing some problems. I just got them resoldered. I'm going to reinstall them. But I'm also having some problems with these two wires, where the plugs are wired correctly, but for some reason, power is not making it through the connectors here. So I'm going to get these wired up, and then hopefully that'll solve this problem. And then we'll be on to checking out why um, these last two wires aren't working. And hopefully the first two wires aren't having the same problem. Wow, it still doesn't want to work. Why not? Okay. Damn, but it just does not want to work. They're still wired wrong. I was able to figure out what the problem was. So these plugs are different than the other plugs because I had to reorder. And Instead of the negative being right here, it needs to be right here for the type of plugs that go inside of this. So I'm just going to go desolder this and move it over one and then reinstall. We should be good. I just got done troubleshooting it, so there is two problems. Uh, the plugs were miswired and the cables that I made, the connection uh, from the plug to the long wire wasn't very good, so I had to redo those. Then I found out, just like the other ones, the valves are all plugged. So. Air hammer time. Hammer time. Don't take much, just enough. So I've decided I'm going to end up putting a blowout valve on uh, all of these. It's certainly uh, a nice thing to have when they're all running normal. Uh, you don't get any settling or any growth inside of them. 
uh, but when they stop running or you disable some of them, you might get plugged, or plugs, it might get clogged. <laughs> oh, I need to go take a nap. Uh, anyway, so, just a good idea, I have to blow out valve on there. All right, so I am uploading code to lane two, and I just got done doing lane four and three. We have now troubleshot lanes one through four, they were all fully operational as far as their watering system goes for aquaponics. We still have to put, oh wait. It's only taken me weeks to finally have enough time to sit down and really figure this out. And it ended up being a combination of multiple problems. So glad I was able to figure it out. Now lanes one through four are operational from an aquaponics standpoint. And now we still have to add the uh, lighting, which lane two you've seen if you've been following us. Uh, we've done the test and the vegetables are coming out great. So we're gonna go with four lights and I'm actually gonna end up taking a bracket here, putting this here, not in that. We're plugging the lights right in here and running everything up to the control unit uh, that's gonna turn these things on and off. So I still have to write the code for that. But we're getting closer and closer and uh, it's pretty exciting. So hey, thanks for following along. It was uh, long and arduous trying to troubleshoot all this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed watching what we got going on here. It's pretty cool uh, as we see it come together. The floor and the plants and now aquaponics stuff growing. It's pretty cool. So if you do like it, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. We've got a long journey ahead of us still, so it's gonna be fun. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. In the meantime, everyone, this is The Real Marshall. Out.